Russia's technological landscape is poised for a major change as the Element Group unveils its proposal to establish a specialized foundry center for silicon photonics. This center is designed to develop and produce basic components for photonic integrated circuits and stands as one of the nation's most ambitious efforts to enter a domain shaping the future of high-speed communications, computing, and sensing technologies. With an investment of 560 million rubles and a timeline from 2026 to 2027, the initiative positions Russia among the countries working to industrialize photonic technologies on a large scale. Silicon photonics has long been considered a major area in next-generation semiconductor development. However, the public's understanding of the true scope of this field remains limited. Before examining the Element Group's industrial strategy, it is important to define the concept in clear and simple terms. Let us understand silicon photonics in a simple manner. Most modern microchips operate by transmitting electrical signals through tiny metallic pathways. These wires have worked effectively for decades, but they are now approaching their physical limits. Electrical resistance creates heat. Congested routing causes interference. And energy consumption has increased sharply. As development in artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and data-intensive applications increases, conventional electronic systems struggle to keep up. Silicon Photonics offers a completely different solution. Instead of electrical signals, it uses light to transmit information inside the chip. Light travels faster, it carries far more data, and it generates minimal heat. This is the same principle that makes fiber optic internet far faster than copper cables. Silicon Photonics applies that principle at microscopic scale directly onto silicon devices. To better understand the difference, imagine an electronic device as a large system of interconnected roads. Traditional chips resemble crowded neighborhoods full of cars stuck in traffic. Congestion builds up, accidents can occur, and movement slows during peak load. Silicon Photonics replaces this congested system with high-speed express trains. Instead of vehicles waiting in traffic, information flows smoothly, efficiently, and at remarkable speed. This shift has serious consequences. Silicon Photonics can improve data center performance, speed up AI training, enhance sensors, advance medical diagnostics, and support quantum technologies. Light-based processors use less energy, run cooler, and push computing beyond the limits of electronics. In summary, silicon photonics represents the next evolution after traditional semiconductor fabrication. Now back to the topic. The Element Group's initiative comes at a time when the global semiconductor industry is highly complex. Nations are investing heavily in self-sufficient manufacturing, and photonics has become a strategic priority. Russia's entry into this sector aims to build local expertise, expand manufacturing capabilities, and secure domestic access to components used in telecommunications, sensing, and scientific research. The planned photonic foundry will produce core components of photonic integrated circuits. These components form the foundation for advanced optical systems, such as modulators, waveguides, filters, lasers, and detectors. According to Element Group's project outline, the company aims to develop at least 17 categories of optoelectronic and integrated photonic products by 2030. This would greatly improve the nation's ability to meet growing domestic demand. The organization has allocated 560 million rubles for development. The project will be implemented during 2026 and 2027. Such infrastructure requires major investment because photonic chip fabrication demands specialized clean rooms, optical lithography, precision etching tools, and advanced metrology systems, different from conventional semiconductor plants. The Element Group has assigned Micron, a subsidiary of the company, as the main operator of the foundry. Micron remains Russia's only chip manufacturing plant working at the 90 to 180 nanometer node 
a mature yet stable process well suited for photonic components. Photonic integrated circuits do not always require extremely small geometries, making Micron's current capabilities a viable starting point. Another important contributor will be the Setikoff Institute of Measuring Systems, affiliated with Rosatom and commonly known as NIIIS. The institute may handle the development of silicon on insulator, or SOI, substrates. These wafers form the basis of nearly all silicon photonics. Their structure, consisting of a thin silicon layer separated from the main substrate by an insulator, allows efficient light guidance with minimal loss. Domestic production of these substrates would give Russia full vertical integration from materials to finished circuits. The Element Group's plan also identifies major Russian research institutions, including Skoltec and MIPT, as potential partners for chip design. These institutions hold the theoretical knowledge needed to create complex photonic structures. For measurement and testing, the initiative lists the National Research Institute of Physics and Technology, known as NIFTI, and the Institute of Metal Physics of the Russian Academy of Sciences. These organizations can validate the optical and electronic performance of the fabricated circuits. The company estimates that a single wafer carrying photonic integrated circuits will cost between $2,500 and $6,000 US dollars. Based on the central bank rate of November 19, 2025, this equals roughly 202,000 to 485,000 rubles. This pricing is competitive internationally and aligns with standard photonic wafer costs at similar manufacturing nodes. According to Element Group representatives, the first customers will likely be universities and research laboratories. These institutions are major developers of photonic devices and rely on high-quality fabrication services for experimentation and prototyping. Over time, as production scales and standards mature, industries such as telecommunications, LIDAR, data centers, and industrial sensing are expected to adopt domestically produced photonic chips. Silicon Photonics is not new for the Element Group. The company has been active in photonics for many years and has built a cluster of specialized enterprises. In addition to Micron, the group includes Connector Optics, which produces substrates for special lasers. It includes NZPP, which focuses on photo detectors. And it includes NIIME, which hosts a radio photonics laboratory. Together, these companies form a technological ecosystem where design, materials, components, and research exist within one coordinated framework. This ecosystem is essential for a field as interdisciplinary as photonics. Unlike traditional electronics, which depend mainly on electrical engineering, photonics requires deep understanding of optics, material science, quantum behavior of light, and precision manufacturing. The element group structure allows these areas to work together effectively. The proposed photonic foundry represents more than a simple industrial investment. It is a strategic effort to close a national technological gap. Countries investing in silicon photonics today are preparing for the next decades of computing and communication infrastructure. If Russia builds strong domestic capability, it gains independence in a field marked by global competition and supply chain fragmentation. By giving universities and laboratories reliable access to fabrication services, the foundry will allow researchers to run experiments, build prototypes, and advance photonic innovation. This could support breakthroughs in quantum communication, biomedical imaging, environmental monitoring, and hardware for AI acceleration. Once operational, domestic manufacturing could expand into commercial markets. Global technology companies already use photonic accelerators and optical interconnects in data centers, and demand is rising quickly. If Russia develops competitive products, export opportunities may appear in regions seeking alternative supply chains. In final remarks, the Element Group's plan to build a silicon photonics foundry marks an important moment in Russia's technological progress. With strong investment, research collaboration, and a clear strategy, 
the project lays the foundation for an ecosystem that could influence the future of advanced computing, optical communication, and scientific innovation. Silicon photonics, once a niche research field, is becoming a core part of global digital infrastructure. By embracing this transition, Russia positions itself to take part in a new era of semiconductor technology, an era where photonics surpasses traditional electrical systems and unlocks new levels of speed, efficiency, and capability. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.